about uh, a FUD article I saw earlier today about Bitcoin mining. Uh, the headline was saying that Bitcoin mining will destroy uh, the planet or something uh, crazy like that. And uh, this is really easy to de debunk uh, for a number of reasons. And uh, I think the, and it said also intervention is needed. And uh, I think that's pretty ridiculous. And I have a few reasons uh, why it is ridiculous and actually uh, pretty dangerous rhetoric. Uh, for one, that could be an excuse to uh, basically attack Bitcoin because if you take away, if there's intervention and Bitcoin mining is stopped, it can, uh, it can hurt the network. Although the only way to stop Bitcoin mining completely would be with global governments, which is also not necessarily uh, something most people uh, want and uh, but also in terms of the environmental aspect there's a lot of types of alternative energy that can actually be funded through Bitcoin mining operations what a lot of people uh, don't consider is the fact that wind energy uh, solar energy uh, hydroelectric energy especially wind and uh, hydroelectric for example uh, if the electric grid that they're serving uses more electricity during the daytime then at nighttime, uh, at nighttime, a lot of the energy uh, at a lot of alternative energy facilities is just shot back into the ground and wasted completely. Now, ideally, obviously, you would be able to st store that energy in batteries. And I hope Elon Musk finds a solution to that so we don't have to waste energy in that way. But a good way to subsidize alternative energy facilities is to use Bitcoin mining uh, to use surplus electricity that would be wasted otherwise and uh, and that's a one major factor that I think is an incentive for uh, Bitcoin mining and it can help fund uh, the future of alternative energy people need to con uh, think about the fact that the earth is full of lava we're basically sitting on a massive regenerating battery uh, thermal heat battery and this energy can be harnessed to produce virtually unlimited energy in terms of what uh, humans could use, even with uh, switching over to electric cars and all that good stuff. And uh, the advancements in other types of alternative energy, uh, I think can keep up with the demands of Bitcoin mining. And then also the Bitcoin mining funds the advancement of computer processors. And eventually, the, the processors are going to get faster and faster where it's more electricity efficient and uh, yeah and another factor is is uh, Bitcoin mining facilities are literally banks of computer processing power uh, already uh, a big asset of the digital age is uh, servers for uh, websites like Google and uh, YouTube whatever they have large server farms of hard drives basically connected to the internet and the next phase of digital assets in my opinion is processing power and uh, what Bitcoin mining facilities are creating are banks of processing power and I think if the United States or another country were to make laws against Bitcoin mining in their own country uh, they would actually be setting themselves back in terms of uh, advancement in terms of what digital assets they'll have going forward in the future because uh, eventually all the Bitcoins are going to be mined. There's still going to be Bitcoin mining to use uh, for earning fees from Bitcoin mining. However, I think that the infrastructure of these uh, data processing facilities can be repurposed for a number of different applications. Uh, it can be used for artificial intelligence. That sort of thing can be used for modeling. Uh, medical modeling to figure out cures to different diseases all sorts of different uh, factors computer processing power could be used for so I think the rhetoric that uh, Bitcoin mining is dangerous is uh, for the planet is actually a, uh, a very hypocritical argument in that Bitcoin mining can have a symbiotic relationship with alternative energy and also the advancement of technology and all that good stuff and uh, I don't think that the the vision that these these folks have that it's all negative is uh, the way it has to be and I think that the issue should be considered thoroughly 
And uh, yeah, I think that Bitcoin does threaten a lot of uh, maybe traditional powers that be, and they may make excuses to why to ban Bitcoin or try to shut down Bitcoin mining and other reasons, and they might use the guise of environmentalism and other uh, other arguments like that, but I honestly believe that that is wrong. And uh, if you're in the Bitcoin community, you need to we need to stick together and stand up for uh, what's right, and we can do things the right way and uh, do things in a, a way that's also uh, supports the advancement of technology and well as the advancement of humankind. And uh, I think that the fractional reserve banking system, uh, fiat banking system, is a larger threat uh, to both. And uh, yeah, and I think that system is has caused more uh, suffering, war, and environmental damage than what an alternative system uh, could provide. So thank you for watching. Share your thoughts in the comments and uh, peace out, Bertram and Bitcoin community. Cheers. And I got a few more videos coming. Uh, I'm going to be reviewing E Energy and Focus. Uh, I took some earlier today, I took some yesterday. Uh, it works really well. I'm feeling a lot sharper than I was before, and I'll put a link to that in the video description. I'm going to start working out more, and I uh, worked out some yesterday using the uh, what's called muscle protein optimizers from Dioxime I purchased with Verge Currency. I'll put the link to that in the video description as well. And yeah, uh, I got another video coming, an interview with a Bitcoin mining company. Uh, They're building a new facility and I'm really excited about that and uh, just got a lot of editing to do for that video. And uh, yep, I'm working on a new video too for the global verge community and uh yeah i think uh but anyway i'm gonna not get off topic in this video this video is about debunking the myths against bitcoin mining uh and just yep think for yourself and uh it'll be an interesting next couple of years to see how uh mainstream uh institutions, whether education establishments, media establishments, and governments deal with Bitcoin, and I think there is going to be a lot of backlash, and I think a lot of it is uh, sort of short-sighted, and that we need to uh, be cautious about how we go forward and not make any rash decisions, because I think Bitcoin can benefit the, the whole, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency in general can benefit the whole world, and uh, improve the efficiency of the economy, provide all sorts of different uh, freedom that the previous systems didn't allow. So that's my opinion and I'm sticking to it. Just share your thoughts below. Share if you support Bitcoin and cryptocurrency and the proof of work decentralized networks. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of other value to decentralized proof of work networks and there's also value to proof of stake networks too I'm not downplaying uh, that as an alternative as well but anyway that's what I wanted to say in this video thank you for watching peace out